could want much more you said everything was here to be me you said they'd find ways to execute me you said all this won't believe Something good with you and I we started Rather good with you and I we wanted Something good tonight You said that we bet our lives to be free You said that this seed even you said all this brokenly Then we lit up all that you are I never wanted more You said that you needed me You said that you said it to me wanted something good tonight you and I we started something good you and I we started rather good you and I we wanted something good
talons far and wide, I plead before thee to my side. But there a thunderous noise up high, booming, looming, called to die. She's really gone too far 
she was a rock and roll machine Well, book it back up now, it's your wall She was a radio queen And some said she's really gone too far She was a rock and roll machine Well, book it back up now, it's your wall now it's you are all that you are all that you are now it's you are she was a radio queen and some fish she's really gone too far she was a rock and roll machine well boogie man Take it to a time and again. She was a radio queen, and some say she's really gone too far. She was a rock and roll machine, but we'll boogie back up now it's your walk. She was a radio queen, and some say she's really gone too far. She was a rock and roll machine, but we'll boogie back up now it's your walk. such a sound come before to draw one down like a punctured balloon doll she deflates slowly watch her fall
born in a dream now. But I was born in a dream now. Still falling from my age. From my age. From my age. From my age. But I was born in a dream.
again. We have a couple more songs. Thanks again to uh, the Culture Lab for having us. Uh, it's such a cool space, and the stuff you all are doing here is really, really awesome. So if you're on the YouTube, check, check them out. Um, and thanks again to everyone in the room. So much fun. Uh, this next song is called... Um, uh, I, don't, I have no idea, um, but it's on our it's on our last album, not the most recent one. It's on the one before that. Oh, City of the Sea. It's called City of the Sea.
all around her spreads her gown. Silence fills the empty space. In our mind, we see her grace. Get up, dancer. Get up. Get up, dancer. Get up. Last song. Um, we have some stickers uh, for anyone in the room. If you want a sticker afterwards, come see us. Thanks again to Culture Lab and thanks to everyone on YouTube.
the blow and all I said I never should have thought it No, I never should have started this again through the sky the one we came here for is nigh thank you so much spiraling diving as she goes looking forward fast to close brilliant talons far and wide i plead before thee to my side but there a thunderous noise up high booming looming called to die ne'er before did such a sound Come before to draw one down. Like a punctured balloon doll, she deflates slowly, watch her fall, spreading out over the ground. All around her spreads her gown. Silence fills the empty space. In our minds, we see her grace. Get up, dancer. Get up. Get up, dancer. Get up. Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a quick interview with these guys so you get to learn some more about them and also learn what's going on with Culture Lab for a second. And uh, all you people in TV land, hold on for a second while they take their breath and we're going to be right back in five minutes. Five or, well, five seconds. You know, it's like the proverbial five minutes. Dive right in? I'm diving in, not five minutes. Okay, hi. Welcome back. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, well, I loved you so much the first time. Said you got to have them on second time. Came back for second. Yes, yes. Seconds are always good. That's why I gained 20 pounds. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe thirds too. Hey, so let me ask you a couple of questions here. So, um, where are you guys from? Uh, well, we live in Brooklyn. 
So yeah, we're in Greenpoint, not too far. Right, Greenpointers. Yeah, did, yeah. did you walk the bridge? Uh, we had too much gear. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Or so. we would. Newtown Creek. I don't know if this is doing it. Oh yeah, it totally is. <laughs> Newtown Creek is beautiful though, isn't it? I love it. We've hung out there. Like there's a little area where there's like nobody around, so you can have your little secret barbecues and stuff. Yeah, you you all have your. Darn, uh, it's not a secret anymore. Your kayaks are back there. We saw them last time. Right. So we used cool. to have the kayaks here. They're working on that though. We oh, might cool. We might get them back. Right, Ejo? Yeah. Putting you on the spot. Kayaks, yes, no? <laughs> we have a kayak. We have an inflatable. Oh, lots of, lots of blow up you your want. spot. Do you take that on the creek? We haven't, no. We really want to, though. We're so close. Okay. I, I, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what got you into punk rock? Um, you want to answer that? What got me into punk rock? I don't know. I had, I had a cool older brother who just showed me all the music that I was supposed to listen to. So uh, from a young age, I've been listening to, I don't know. Punk rock. Are you guys originally from New York? I'm not. I'm from Detroit. Detroit. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Um, see, in, in New York, we had a station called WDRE, and that was all punk rock and new wave. Ooh. And uh, the other day, a friend of ours was just talking about it, that it just went away. The station is just gone. And that's how I found out about punk rock and new wave. Uh -huh. And I'm like wondering, where do people listen to it on the radio now? Like, how do you find a punk rock station? What is the punk rock station? I guess there's some. There, there are cool, like, college stations and stuff college still playing cool music, yeah. right? Yeah. That's got to be a thing. Yeah. Right. Like, Otherwise, I mean, like, mainstream, like, you know, butt rock is, like, you know, <laughs> what you're going to find. I don't know. Is that a genre? Yeah, sure is. Butt rock. Nice. I'm not about this. I mean, it's exactly what it sounds know. like, you know? Okay. Yeah. So with oh. that being said... <laughs> How do you feel about the punk rock movement? Like, where do you think it's going? That, you know, now I can't even find it in the, on the radios anymore. Like, how do we find it? And where do you think it's going? Like, which direction? I mean, I don't know, because I, I also, I kind of don't, like, I don't know. I don't really identify as so much as punk rocker, just because, like, I mean, because we don't fit in with other, we don't really fit in anywhere. Um, but, uh, like, that, that type of, um, the spirit of punk rock is really awesome. And I right. think, like, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's people doing really cool things like with underground shows and, you know, even above ground shows. I mean, just people doing stuff. And I think it's, it's really like the people that kind of keep it going, which is good. I don't know. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, yeah, you, what she said. It's better word than I am. I'm going to roll with that. I like that. <laughs> so how long have you guys been playing together and on your own? Uh, together since 2018, uh -huh. I guess. Yeah. Oh, you're fairly new together. Yeah. yeah, relatively. I I started playing drums when I uh, oh no I don't I could say this two different ways and then I would age myself. I've been playing drums for nineteen years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the other parts. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I would say like oh a certain fraction of my life, but I'll leave the fraction as a as right. an unknown. Yeah, it's a shame though, right? That we now have to hide. Uh, like ages. And oh, I don't feel like I have to. I feel I like there's a lot of, of ageism going on, especially after the Super Bowl. Oh, if you yeah. guys have been noticing all the ageism that's going on, that's not right. It's Gosh, just not right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, body shaming too. Body shaming, ageism, and yeah. it's just like it's a whole genre of music that they're trying to insult. Yeah. I heard someone like complaining about um, Mary J. Blige, and it was like there was just the only comment they had, and like the one woman who was actually up there, right. and like who's amazing, like still, and that's like your complaint. They were it's, talking about her, her. Just I don't even know what gear, probably, yeah. but they didn't yeah. say that. But that's probably why. I mean, it's just it's so yeah, it's yeah. so ridiculous. Um, he said something very curious, uh, well, curious, very interesting. Uh, well, started to about age, not wanting to say your age, and, which I don't want you to. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't even want not to want to. I think it's just funny to have a. Th I don't know. I right. could. All, I don't know. Do you feel that there? That's an issue in the music industry. I don't. But the true maybe man. other people. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've got a lot but then again, of. No, no, no. That doesn't even count anymore. Before <laughs> men got away, at, once again to the Super Bowl. They are, they're now calling 50 cents a dollar. It's just like, it's uh -huh, like a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. Yeah. And do you feel that that's an issue when going to get booked somewhere? Do you think about that before you say, let me send an email to this place. Would they accept me? I feel like people don't usually ask about that. You know, it's not, it's I mean, not usually something that yeah. comes up. We play, we play shows like, we played like, I don't know, we played with like high schoolers, like <laughs> up through like, I don't know, like people in their 60s. So right. we kind of like yeah. played the whole spectrum, right. but... Um, yeah, so yeah. I think it's just like about finding people who are cool. Right. 
and right. like just making it about the music right like, no matter like what your yeah like right. age gender race whatever just like kind it's, of like, it's true like honestly I never well I'm not like a musician but I, I work with musicians and we've never felt that it wasn't until what we saw on Sunday was the first time it was like wow yeah they're disrespecting people for their ages it's like I remember being a kid listening to my father's Sam Cooke records and just appreciating and loving and having no idea about age with that. And I just don't understand why that became a thing. And why would someone try to like pretty much cancel a whole genre of music that was a strong, I mean, fashion styles came out because of it. Right, it influenced you know? so much, yeah. But yeah. We won't let that happen. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I just think it, it, it might be a media thing. Maybe the media just didn't like them. Maybe it, he, he just doesn't like that kind of music. I don't so know. That's I how like it cult, started. Like the culture here too, though, I feel like it's very like disparaging against like elders. You know, like I mean, there are cultures that like respect their elders, right? And, like, whatever. Exactly. Here it's just here. It's like I don't know. It's when you hear even like some kids who might not have been brought up the right way, and like they're yeah. talking. But really I like how they're calling fifty-year-olds elders. Like, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're fifty and you're old. It's like what is that? <laughs> You know, but it's ridiculous. It Anyways, um, so uh, another question is, well, not a question. This is a statement about <laughs> Culture Lab. <laughs> so Culture Lab is is now doing a um, membership program. Did you guys know that? Woo! Yeah. There is a membership program for Culture Lab, and you can find it on their website where you can sign up and when you sign up, you get access to free, well, not free, but discounted. Big difference. <laughs> you get discounted beer or, or whatever beverage we have, you get a discount to it. You get free entrance to certain shows and you get pre tickets to others. So if you want, and if you really would like to help Culture Lab, It'd be great if you did sign up for this. And do they get any special shirts or badges or anything to know that they are? Okay, you get, you get a, a lot rat t-shirt. So you can use it when you're in the lot too. Okay, um, thank you. Actually, you know what? You never said your names. So no one knows who you are. <laughs> oh, we're Castle Black. The Castle yeah. Black, what yeah. is you, do you want to give your actual name? Oh, my name's Lee. <laughs> yeah. I'm Joey. Lee and Joey. So, Castle Black guys. Thank you so much for having us. And they yeah, will be back. You. They will be back again because we love them. Oh, Jonathan! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Oh, cool. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Golly.